In the last video, I mentioned that the useref hook is useful in another scenario. In this video, let's understand what that is with an example. For those of you with the knowledge of class components, I will quickly revisit class properties so that you can better relate to the scenario. I'm going to start off by creating a new file called classTimer.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet RCE to create a class component. I will get rid of this named export. Now, as the component name suggests, I want to implement an interval timer that ticks every second and displays the value in the browser. There are a couple of steps, so let's take one step at a time. First, I'm going to create an instance field or a class property if you want to call it, which will point to the interval timer. Next, I'm going to use the snippet rconst to add a constructor. And within the constructor, I'm going to create a state variable called timer with an initial value of zero. Next, we implement component did mount and component will unmount to set and clear our interval timer. So component did mount our instance field this dot interval is going to be equal to set interval and set interval accepts two arguments. The first one is a callback function where we simply increment the timer state variable by one. So the timer is going to be previous state dot timer plus one. The second argument is thousand milliseconds, which is the interval for the timer. Next in component will unmount, we clear the timer. So clear interval, we pass in this dot interval, this right here. Finally, in the JSX, we render the timer. Class timer, this dot state dot timer. And that is it. Let's save the file, include it in app.js. And head to the browser. As you can see, we have the timer value being displayed in the browser. And what I want to do is to clear this interval timer on a button click. So in the JSX, I'm going to add a button and on click of that button, we clear the timer. Clear interval, which accepts one argument, which is the value returned by set interval. So this dot interval. If you now head back to the browser and click on clear interval, you can see that the timer has stopped. Pretty straightforward, but I want to replicate this exact scenario with a functional component. Let's see how. I'm going to create a new file called hooktimer.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet rfce to create a function component. Now let's begin implementing the interval timer. First, we need a state variable to hold the timer value. So import use state from react and create a state variable. Timer, comma, set timer, and the initial value is zero. Next, we need to replicate the behavior of component did mount and component will unmount. For that, we have the effect hook. So import use effect and call it within the component. The first parameter is an arrow function within which we set up our timer. Const interval is equal to set interval. 
an arrow function where we call set timer where we increment previous timer by one and this has to run every second after that we need to return a cleanup function which will clear the interval so within the return function clear interval passing in the interval variable and most importantly specify an empty dependency array to use effect in the JSX display the timer value and that should do it for our hook timer let's save the file include it in app.js and head to the browser you can see that both the timers are working as expected the last thing is we have to clear this hook timer based on a button click let's go back and finish that in the JSX I'm going to add a button clear hook timer and on click of that button we need to clear the interval on click clear interval and the argument is interval if I save this and take a look at the browser you can see that there is a problem interval is not defined and this is rightly so because the variable is curved only to the effect hook so we can clear the interval from within the effect hook but not from an event handler this is where useref comes to the rescue although useref can hold a reference to a dom node using the ref attribute it can also be used to store any mutable value and what is great about useref is that the value will persist through the re-renders while also not causing any additional renders when its value changes. So to solve the problem at hand, we will use the useref hook. Import useref from React and within the component, invoke useref and assign it to a variable. So const interval ref is equal to useref. Now we change interval to interval ref dot current and when clearing the interval we pass in interval ref dot current the same with the click handler if we save this and take a look at the browser you can see that we don't have any more errors and when i click on clear hook timer the interval is cleared so this is the second usage for useref hook. It can be used to create a generic container which can hold a mutable value similar to instance properties on a class component. This generic container does not cause re-renders when the data it stores changes. At the same time, it also remembers the stored data even after other state variables cause a re-render of this component. A simple use case is clearing an interval timer from an event handler. All right, that is about the useref hook in React. With that, we come to the end of learning about the main hooks in React. There are three more hooks which have somewhat of a rare usage scenario. They are use imperative handle, use layout effect, and use debug value. I am not going to explain them, but I would advise you guys to go through the three hooks just to have an idea of what they're used for. What I am going to explain instead though is creating custom hooks. When you understand how to create your own hooks, you will then truly realize the power of hooks in React. So starting next video, let's discuss about custom hooks in React. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.